All right, the high school hoops regional semifinals continue tonight in boys class 1A and 2A playoff brackets at the Illini Central Regional. Calvary and Mount Pulaski. Hilltoppers getting the offense started courtesy of Blake Collier who knocks down the tray. He had 19. Joseph Martin to Tyler Upshaw for the answer as he hits the jumper. And then Bo Collier is going to find Peyton Taylor. Nice layup play right there. It's Dre Woods coming up here in our highlights. He's going to drive, stop, score there for Calvary, but the Hilltoppers pick up the win on the road. Mount Pulaski defeats Calvary tonight by a score of 68 to 51. To the Waverly Regional, Morrisonville taking on Waverly. First quarter, it's going to be Alex Brockamp who drives the lane. Actually, pull-up jumper right there is good. Back the other way we go, it's going to be Nathan Thresher who finds Mark Talbert down low, and he gets the layup to go. And Talbert again, actually the other way. How about the tray in the corner? Three ball is good. Morrisonville is going to find a way to pick up the victory. Austin Deal almost costs up the ball, but recovers and nails the three ball there. Mohawks win it 62 to 56. All right, the class 2A now at the Auburn Regional tonight. Riverton taking on Pleasant Plains. Third quarter, Plains up seven. Cole Greer finds Dylan B down low. Bucket plus the bump. Then Plains will cough up the ball here. Riverton's Ryan Rossetti is going to pick it up and take it the other way. Watch him drive. Nice Hop step and layup is good for two. Next possession for the Hawks, Rossetti. Spin move. Give him the cycle and the two points. But Plains prevails in this one. Greer is going to drive the lane and find Landon Davis wide open. He drains the three. Pleasant Plains, a winner, 58-46. to 46. In Monticello tonight, Argenta Oriana doing battle with St. Thomas Moore. First quarter, STM up seven. Doug Wallen has a shot blocked, but his teammate, Clavin Davis, there for the second chance opportunity. Back come the Bombers, though, off the steal. It's going to be Keegan McHood who takes some contact. But he scores the basket, 86-74. Four bombers prevail.